What's up guys? I'm back with another video as promised. Um, this is the auto top off system. It's the 3155 Osmo later by Tunzi. Uh, I got this on sale at um, Dr. Foster's. Usually it's like 200 bucks. I got it for a hundred dollars. Uh, with the reefs, you need everything stable. Um, all of the parameters and things like that. So with the open top, the water evaporates and that messes with the salinity of the tank. And to stay on top of it, you really need something like this to um, kind of top off the water with RODI water. So the parameters all stay um, stable. You can do it by hand, but I don't know. <laughs> Within the week, I feel like my lagoon goes through about three or four gallons of RODI water and I have to kind of fill that jug up every week. Uh, I like this unit so far in the lagoon because um, as you can see right here in the picture, there's two, two um, sensors. One is an analog sensor and the other one is an optical sensor. This um, float right here, it's just a backup, just in case. And there's a control board right here. Let me open it up. I'm pretty sure I did an open box video with the last one, but we'll do it again for new folks. So in the box, get a whole bunch of instructions, different languages, but it's pretty easy to set up. Um, Here's the control box, the little mini pump. Tubing. This is a little cover. This thing holds the tubing onto the tank so when it um, pumps in the water, everything is secured. And here are magnets and kind of brackets to hold your your sensors so how i set up was um i used this bracket here just like the picture uh, you push in the floater and then you push in your optical sensor and you just place it into the tank over here what is this This box is just the power supply, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, I went to Ikea and I picked up one of these trash bins right here. Let's see if I could zoom out for you guys. No. It's a six gallon trash bin with lid. Uh, I picked up two. I'm going to repurpose one to store the RODI water and um, this pump is going to go in here and it's just going to draw out the RODI water whenever the, the tank needs it. And I picked up a second one, same thing. So with the reef, there's a lot of wires all hanging all about and my stand, it's kind of open. Uh, I don't have the luxury of hiding it like my lagoon where it has a door and I could just hide it all underneath and just close it out. So with the stands all open, I originally wanted to put in the 29 gallon tank underneath as a RODI storage. But I had second thoughts because it's right there by my um, sofa and I feel like it's not a good use of a 29 gallon. I'm gonna repurpose that 29 gallon tank to do something else on the rack in the garage. Uh, I got the second box just to make it as a black box. Um, I'm, I'll be drilling a hole down here, running the surge protector and running all the wires into a black box so everything's hidden and kind of cleaned up. So let me get everything in place and I'll show you what I got. Okay guys, this is what I have so far. Man, the chambers are really stuffed. 
So I have media on one end, the skimmer on right next to it, heater, the pump, return pump is down there. And then now I have the optical sensor and the float, the backup float also in there. Um, right here is the return line and if you look down I have my two boxes. This one's going to be filled with um, RO water. The pump is down there. I don't know if you guys can see that it's tight angle. Pumps down there, this whole container, six gallons. Probably five gallons would be filled with um, RODI water. And the second box is just a black box. It's just containing my, it's probably too dark for you guys, all of the wires and the surge protector. Each um, outlet has a little rocker switch to turn on and off. It's beneficial when you're doing water changes to turn off the auto top off and the wave makers individually. I have the auto top off controller also tucked in there and all of the wires are neatly tucked into that box. I still need to fire up the light and I still need to cut this um, bar. Probably do it this weekend but I only have one more component for this build. It's the wave maker. I have it on order, it's coming. And I need to escape it. I have the rocks and everything, but we'll save that for another video. So this is all I have for today. I'm kind of running out of time, but slowly but surely everything's coming along. I'm in no rush. So we'll get there thank you guys for following along if you guys like this series so far give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think so far and if you have any suggestions um, put them down below also and i'll catch you guys next time bye